I'm Kelsey and today I have a video that took me quite a while to make for whatever reason. Okay, well, I mean, it, it takes some effort, so. It is a fall bookish craft video, um, so I put together five crafts. Um, some are a little more bookish themed than fall themed, some are a little more fall than bookish themed, um, but we're going to roll with it. Um, I got some of these ideas from Pinterest and I got, I think, like one or two maybe from YouTube, um, but I'll link the originals down below just in case you want some maybe more concise, perfect directions. Um, but yeah, the, the crafts are a lot of fun to make, um, so I show you the steps throughout and if you want to skip over a couple of them I do put like title slides in so you can just kind of like scroll over and go past the ones that you want to go to. Um, but if you try any of them definitely let me know um, down below um, if you have any photos I love to see them and um, if you just have a favorite one I'd love to know as well. So we're gonna start with making these babies these little like acorns that are made from just construction paper um, and then book pages. The first step is to draw the shape of an acorn um, out of the out of the book page. Um, so you can guesstimate what it's supposed to look like. You can go online if you want and um, like print off a sketch or something like that. But I want mine all to be kind of different sizes so it looks a little bit different. Um, so I'm just freehand drawing it. You don't even have to trace it. You could just cut it out. It's a pretty easy shape to get. But essentially it's going to look about like that. Um, and then I have some different size construct... I have some different colored construction paper. Um, so I've got like all these different fallish colors. Um, and there's going to be six total that I'm making. So I'm going to do two of each color. But essentially... What you're going to do is put this at the bottom of the construction paper and then you're going to draw like what would be the cap. Um, so it'll look something like this if I don't mess it up. <laughs> um, yeah, a little bit like that, but you don't want it to go too far past this. So I'll probably have to cut this a little bit shorter. But you're going to cut this out. I'll cut it a little shorter so that it fits. And same with this, I'm going to have all the tops be different. But if you want, you could just make the same tracing and have them all like equally sized. And this will go on top of there, so it fits pretty well. I'm going to bring it down lower though. Um, then next, you're going to need your glue, but you can use um, like the stick glue or you can use super glue, whatever you have pretty much. Um, essentially, you could also use tape if you want. But I'm going to go ahead and glue the very top of this. And then place that on there. So voila. Then just like this buddy here that I had before, um, you can do like little designs on the top. This is literally just written in pen. Um, but you can do marker. Um, you can do different like colors, especially that are fall themed. Um, you can add stickers, glitter, whatever you want to do to decorate the top. And if you don't want to, you don't have to decorate the top either. So what you're going to do is tape each of these six little acorns onto the string. Um, and then you can space it out however you'd like. So you're just going to obviously take the back um, and just tape it to the string. And I tape it about like this much of the ways down just so that it kind of hangs a little bit. Voila! Okay, so here are the six pumpkins aligned. I did leave a bigger bigger space, um, like right here, because I'm going to actually make like a little maple leaf. I'm gonna use two of these. Um, and I just I actually got these at the dollar store, so they're like Halloween decorated sparkly. What are these things called? I don't know. They like the bendy things. Um, but I need two of them for this. I've done this once before and it's actually kind of difficult. Um, so you don't have to do this. You can um, put something else like in between or you can just leave it with just the acorns, but I want to decorate it a little more. So I just Googled like maple leaf symbol and then if you go to images, like I'm just using this one, um, but I'm using this just kind of to make my outline. <laughs> So 
here's the finished product. It's uh, kind of okay. Um, but yeah, I hung this in the center of it. So it's going to look like that. And then the reason I chose six is because I'm going to write the word autumn on it. Um, you can choose to write whatever you want. You can make as many as you want. But that's what I'm going to do. I also made this one with pumpkins, um, <laughs> but I added some stuff from outside so you can use like real leaves um, or whatever you want, but that's another version. pumpkin um, that's going to sit on your table. Um, so I have a book here. You can use a bunch of book pages. Um, you can obviously use just like construction paper and stuff, but we're trying to make this bookish, so that's what we're going to do. Um, you're going to want to make like a pumpkin shape, so it's supposed to look like this. And obviously I'm not using like a stencil or anything, so this could go a little bit wrong. You want it to be pretty even. If you go onto the website that I'm gonna link below for this project, um, I think she has like a template where you can actually just print out already this shape. Um, so that way it's a little bit more even, um, but I'm not worried about it being completely perfect because that's just how I work. You can have as many pages as you want. The more pages you have, the thicker the pumpkin will be, but I'm just gonna go with five pages. But I'm gonna cut out this shape. I'm gonna try to make it a little more even. And also, I don't, I've never, like I said, I've never, like, made one of these how-to videos before, and I don't know where people sit or what. Like, I'm sitting behind my camera right now, and it's sort of an awkward angle. Oh, look, I'm not even showing you the project. And I don't know. How-to videos are just weird. But I hope you're enjoying so far. And what you're going to do with this is you're going to fold it in half, which is kind of why you want it to be even, because... You know, then it looks a little better. But I'm gonna fold it in half, the whole thing. And I'm gonna just kind of make a nice hard crease because um, you're actually gonna end up separating them. I'm gonna un, I'm gonna reopen it. Um, and then you're gonna fold these separately. So one, and you place them on top of each other. Two. And those are them. Now I do want to mention that you can like color these and it'd probably be a good time to color them now or actually even before I folded them because um, then you can color them on both sides and make them like orange or yellow because it'll be a little harder to color um, once they're together. But um, I'm just going to leave them blank and then I might add a couple of things afterwards. Next you're going to want to paper clip these together. Go and just kind of make sure that 
this edge you want to be um, even. So you want to glue these edges together um, and you want to kind of spread out the glue as evenly as possible. And I've seen that and I've, I've actually like tested it before and it's better if it's like a thinner layer um, but you definitely still want to get all of the area especially the edges because you want to hold all this paper together once it's fanned out. Voila! Okay, so it's been a quick minute or two. You can take off the paper clip. Then you want to you want to kind of just like fan out the pumpkin. Um, so you're just going to kind of like slowly and carefully so it's not even even. Um, start to spread it out. I love like reading it while I'm doing it. Like Letio to hold additions. They raise their glasses. Um, the woman who'd approached them at La China, what was she doing here at the dance halls? Um, and then if you have to, you can add more glue to hold it together. Um, I think one of these might be getting kind of loose. So it's getting there, um, but I'll show you like the finished result when um, it's actually like all done. But for now, I'm actually going to go ahead and add a little bit of decorations on the pages individually. So like I said, you could have colored them. Um, you can add stickers, whatever you want to add. But I'm going to add um, some little sparkly circles and then I will be back. So we're back and I've added a couple of just like little sparkly circles to the sides. Um, and then we're going to make like the top. So in the other one, she just uses some paper um, and she twists it and then puts it on top of the little cork. But I'm gonna use um, these that I used in a previous project. So essentially, I want like the little, I'm gonna make the bottom a little thicker just so that it can fit. Just like that. And then I'm gonna glue the bottom of this to the top of my pumpkin. Okay, so for this next one, it's going to be a envelope that's made out of a book page. So it's just a single book page. So what you're going to want to do is you want to make this into a square. Um, so you can just fold down this side. And it's totally okay to have the crease here because um, you're actually going to use it in a minute. Um, so I'm going to make this into a square. And my side is not completely... Uh, straight because I did tear this out of a book page um, but you can obviously measure that yourself if you want it to be perfect looking um, but you can make that crease pretty prominent we're going to open this up um, I'm going to make sure that this the words are readable and then you're going to want to fold in both of these sides um, and you want it to be even so they're both going to have to meet the center crease and then crease those down and then what you want to do is fold this up to here um, I usually go kind of further so this is like where they meet um, and then I go up to about here um, and then you're gonna open this back up and you're gonna go ahead and glue these um, corners right here so this corner this corner and then you're also gonna glue this corner right here and this corner right here so you can see that glue 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 and glue um, and then you're going to fold that up and then you're also going to glue this little tip right here um, so you can fold that back or you could have actually glued that before I folded the other rest, the rest of it up so that gets Fold it down. I don't know if it helps to see the inside, but it's just folded down inside there. Um, and it just looks like this on the outside. And then you're just going to fold this top part down. And voila, there it is. Like I said, um, you'd probably want to make sure that this line is straight beforehand. 
Yeah, but super easy, super quick, and then it's cool because you can read the words of like a book page on here. So if you have like a favorite book and you have like a bunch of copies and decide to cut it up, it'd be cool um, to send it to someone or if it's their favorite book and they can read some lines from it. Here are two um, that I already made. Um, so I just made it the same way, um, but I decorated these. But yeah, they all work the same. Let me open them up, put stuff in there, put a little note, you know, happy autumn. And voila, it's right inside there. And then this one, same thing. I just put a leaf um, from outside on there, real leaf, and drew some little pumpkins. So the first thing you want for this next project is going to be some cardboard. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this so I can make this symmetrical. Um, and then I'm going to say that I would like it to be about this size. Um, so I'm going to put it there. Cardboard's actually very hard to cut. Don't be fooled. Um, and then I'm going to cut on the line that I just made. So there we go. And then you're also going to want one more piece um, that's going to be like, technically it's going to be the... Um, spine of the book. So I'm just going to use the same area and maybe make the spine about yay big. And it's all up to you kind of like what exact sizes you choose. Um, you can make the book smaller or bigger, it doesn't matter. So you're also going to need um, some book pages. You want to make sure that this is the same size as this. So, um, this is actually about 20 pieces of paper because um, you want this to kind of be thick enough so that you can make it look like an actual book. Obviously you can like outline this, but I'm, I'm just putting this on top and then cutting it to be the same size. So next, just like we did with the pumpkin, we're actually going to fold this in half and make like a nice crease. So now that we've made the crease, once again, like the other project, we're just going to open this back up and then we're going to fold them individually again. Um, and then just place them on top of each other. So we're going to put these all together and make sure that the... Cora, my cat is moving this pod. Make sure that all of the spine pretty much lines up, so all of this part right here. Then take your paper clip or your binder clip, whatever it is, um, and hold that together. And then once again, we're going to actually just glue the side right here. And then um, I did see a little trick because obviously you want this to be um, not too, like, you want it to be flat. So you can take something, I'm just taking another piece of cardboard and flattening out the glue, and then I'll do another layer just to be sure and then I will just flatten it out again so this is pretty much almost already dried but while that's drying finishing um, we're gonna cut out a piece of felt so this is gonna be the cover that I'm using for the book um, you can use construction paper you can just color the cardboard if you want um, or paint it you can use like uh, cloth or whatever you want to do to cover the book page um, but I've got a specific one in mind so um, I'm going to use this black felt. So, at this point, you can go ahead and cut this in half. So, you want to space this out. You want um, that to be, it's only going to be like one little millimeter between it pretty much. Um, but we're going to cut just around this a little bit. I'm going to turn these around so that I can see this little gap better. Um, but yeah, just about one millimeter or so. And then just even this out on the whole felt. Um, and then you're going to actually cut off the corners. So I decided to grab my cutting board because I'm going to try it with this. Felt is so much harder to cut. The person that I watched in the video, they did... Um, paper but you know I'm just trying to overachieve so 
so here's the finishing touch. Doesn't look that cute, but you're not really gonna see this part, so it doesn't, doesn't really matter. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, um, these are actually gonna be folded down over this. So I'm just gonna glue the bottom of this. Make sure this is even. Whoops. Where you going, glue stick? And then the same for over here. Nope, don't, don't. Come back, glue stick. Nope. Okay, so I have all four sides folded down, and the reason you like cut those angles is just so that when you fold it, it works better, it looks better. Um, so, you can glue these down to it. I didn't just in case I need to move it around, um, but there's that. And then you can go ahead and just kind of like move it and fold it, got glue on there. You wanna cut out something to cover this. Um, so I'm just going with white for the inside of my book, um, but you can choose the same print, you can choose whatever, but you're just gonna to want to um, use it to cover all this up. So just gonna glue that on there. So now we've got this. Um, you just wanna like fold in the creases. Now we're gonna take these pages that I have glued together and we're going to glue them onto here. So um, I'm just gonna glue down the spine. <laughs> and stick that on there. And then just kind of mesh it all together. And then on the website I'm going to link, there's a tutorial where you can like put something that will close this together. But I like it, even if it doesn't like close all the way, I kind of like how it looks like this. So I don't do that. Um, but I have a special cover for mine. Haha. -ha. Voila! That's why I chose to do black for my background. Can you tell what that is? Um, it's Twilight, if you can't tell. But anyways, yeah, that's just how you make your own mini book. Um, I made another one before this. I made one um, right here. It's, it says The Raven on it, and I just did this with stitching. And this one, I was even lazier, so honestly, I just took like one cardboard sheet of paper, folded it in half, stuck some paper in there, and then um, glued the felt on the outside. So you can do it so many different ways. Um, I choose to do the easy way. And there you go. And they're just little books. And then, you know, you could go ahead and take one of your letters and send someone a book. <laughs> yeah. Bam.